I wanted to talk a little bit about balancing the short term with the long term because obviously most of us that come into this journey you probably like tried a lot of diets before and they have things and you're kind of at this stuck place where you have to either reset your metabolism or move into a weight loss journey that is longer than you intended. So when you hear that, it's kind of depressing and discouraging to think about how long it could possibly take. And when you're so focused on the short term, often you get distracted. So, so the difference just to know offhand, like right up front, if you're overly focused on either one, it can, interrupt the progress that you're having on your journey because long term typically equals a lot of discouragement like super super focused on the long term you're discouraged because you're only thinking about how far away it is you're not really taking advantage of the milestones you're not noticing your nsvs and the good things that are happening because you're just so overwhelmed by the fact that this is freaking gonna take forever <laughs> and when you're so focused on the short term you are it's like squirrel during your journey you are sidetracked like every five minutes by summer or anniversary trip or vacation or something like that so you get easily distracted and then you want to revert back to your old ways or you're just like you know what i'm gonna try this quick fix thing one more time because you know i have this thing coming up and you keep doing that enough times and then you, you just constantly end up right back to square one. So and most of us got here because of our, uh, we're focusing too much on the long term, on, on the short term in the first place. So we were tempted every time something, some, some new and seemingly faster comes along. So if you know that this is going to be a longer journey, I want to talk about some things that you can focus on while you're waiting. So I want to talk about, for those of you who do have a longer journey, which like I said, typically if you're coming to Eat More to Weigh Less, if you're talking to me or any of our trainers, we're more of like your last resort because you've already tried everything else and now you're finally convinced that those things don't necessarily work anymore. And sometimes it, it takes us do, learning the hard way to know that they don't work. So when you accept that it's not a quick fix and that this is a lifestyle as cliche as it sounds and you realize that it's going to be longer term you need to know what what can you do while you wait so that's what today's topic is about really is what do you do while you're waiting for this you know extended journey because like we talked about last time it could be for some people if you're severely over dieted if you've been dieting for the last 10 12 20 years it could take you another you know one two three five years before you get anywhere near your goal so what do you do during that time that you are just waiting instead of getting distracted or discouraged by overly focused on whether it's a long-term or short-term thing. So number one, what you want to do during this time is take advantage of the time to develop the habits that you are going to need to sustain it because you have to remember what got you here in the first place and that was habits that were not sustainable to you. So constantly jumping on bandwagons where you're going to get there faster is that's that temptation that led you down the yo-yo path in the first place. So looking for the quick fix and looking for the thing that's going to get you there faster typically meant that you were jumping on board with some habits that were not sustainable in the long term. So if you have a longer journey, this is the perfect amount of time for you to pick up the actual habits that you're going to need to sustain any fat loss that you have. And remember, we talked yesterday about fat loss versus weight loss. You don't want to just focus on weight loss because then you end up right back to square one. 